Hey guys, so today I want to hop into the character creator and walk through the process of creating a new character with y'all. You'll see why in just a second, but let's hop into the game and click create a character. Okay, so let's say I'm a new player and I want to make a class. Okay, male warrior, three, two star in difficulty, which doesn't seem bad. Warriors wield melee weapons with impressive effectiveness thanks to their superior strength and power, okay? And it looks like they're kind of a pretty well-rounded class. Awesome. What about female warrior? What's the difference? Huh. Strength and vitality. And their chart is the same. I guess they're tankier than male warriors, but they're not as strong. Interesting. Okay. Well, mage. Oh, this is a difficult class. They cast various spells and inflict damage on foes or support for allies. Okay. Interesting. Female martial artist, three in difficulty, and they don't provide as much support as a warrior? Huh. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's say I read through all these, right? And then I'm like, cool. I want to make an assassin. So let's click this button and hop into it. We're going to go with um, new player XP, right? The new player experience. So now we're going to choose our advanced class, right? We've got all these choices. We have Deathblade, we have Shadow Hunter, we have Reaper, and we have Soul Eater. Let's click on each of these, right? It gives us a little bit of a preview of the class itself and what the moves are. This class looks interesting. Of course, it gives us this weird, weird like graph, little pie chart, little heat map chart again. Tells our specialty, our special, our, what our identity does. Interesting. Okay, Shadow Hunter. Ooh, this class uses a sharp demonic weapon. Very strong attack power. Doesn't provide much support. I'm okay with that. Let's watch the video. Huh. Okay. Some normal moves. Interesting. Where's the demonic powers? Oh my gosh. And then it can turn into a demon? Ain't no way. Okay, we're going to go with this class because I really want to be able to turn into a demon. Look, it says transform into a demon with a meter filled. Okay, let's test out this class, right? Huh. Well, when, when did I transform into a demon? Oh, I want you to fill up that entire meter. Okay. Okay, so finally, my Z is available. You can now transform into a demon. Oh my gosh, this class is so much fun. This is so cool. Let's uh, summon a boss to kill too, right? Let's summon a boss this time. Oh wow, that, that thing died instantly. What the heck? Okay, summon more monsters. Okay, that, that was a lot more fun. Oh wait, our demon forms over? And now I have 30 seconds where I can't turn into a demon? Oh my god. I don't know guys. This ain't the this might not be the class for me. Alright. Well, I guess Shadow Hunter is not the class for me. Okay, we're gonna play another class then. Okay, sorry to put you guys through that entire skit, but you guys probably understand what I'm saying now, right? The new player experience and the process, not even just the new player experience, but the process of creating a new character absolutely sucks. There's zero way for you to figure out what a character actually does. One, the descriptions are all completely off about what a character is like. But also two, when you actually hop into the process of testing a class, you don't really get to test anything that the character is all about. When you hop in with say a demon hunter, right? A shadow hunter, sorry, a shadow hunter, a demonic shadow hunter, you hop in there and you get put with all these skills that are not for a demonic shadow hunter. And you also don't have the spec to support it. And in addition, you don't have the engraving itself to support the class either. You hop into there thinking that a shadow hunter is like this. You really want to play the demon form shadow hunter, but yet it takes 10 years to go into the shadow, uh, the demon form. And then when you're done with it, you have a 30 second exhaust. This is something that gets taken away by higher spec and um, the class engraving itself. But as a new player, you don't know that. You have no way of being able to tell that that's not the real identity of the demonic shadow hunter. And also, you don't even get to think about what perfect suppression is because they don't even talk about that as well. There is absolutely no way for you as a new player hopping into the game to figure out what a class is like without going out and doing outside research, which there are a lot of players who don't do that. There's definitely a good number of players that do, but there are a lot of new players that don't. 
And in addition to that, as a returning player or a current player, right, and I want to make a new class, there's really no way for me to try out a certain build, a certain uh, spec, unless I either A, have a friend who has a cl uh, a, that class that I can play on to test it out, or B, just power pass a character, build it up, and decide if I like it or not after hitting, like, I don't know, 1490 or something and doing Brel. It's really hard for you to be able to test out a new class as a current player, and it's really hard for a new player to be able to test out a class and figure out what class they want to play as. So that's why I wanted to make this video today. I wanted to showcase how bad the new player experience is and the character creation experience is, and I wanted to offer a solution to Smilegate. Now, we all know that when we make a character, we power pass it up and there's an event, the Super Makoko Express, we get free engravings, free, free 5x3 engravings. We get our accessories with the right stats, pretty much. We get our skills, we get our tripods, all of that set up right in front of us. It's just set up for us and it's all easy and done. A new player can literally pick up which engraving they want and they'll get everything for that. They'll even get their, you know, their set. So that is already in the game. So I would love it if they could just implement that into the class tester for one. So we can actually see the builds that are available for this character and also be able to test out those builds. Now, it also kind of sucks that we are just hitting some trash mobs and also trash boss monsters, whatever it is. It literally takes like five hits to kill. I would love it if they implemented a system where, of course, you get that Super Coco Express in there, test things out, and then you also get the ability to challenge some Guardian raids. Let's say you have like an easy, normal, hard mode, right? Easy modes like Ernal, even though he's not really easy, but at least he doesn't have any mechs that you have to deal with, right? Coming in as a new player, you don't know a lot of the mechs that this game has to throw at you. So you can do like easy, which is Ernal, um normal which is let's say Deskluder, right Deskluder is a very very approachable boss especially if you already know your way around some of the lost heart mechanics um and then you could go hard which is like i don't know hanumatan carl well, carl's really hard uh maybe it's like uh kungalanium kungalanium or hanumatan something like that right easy normal hard easy for one that you have no max at all normal for a very easy boss if you know the mechanics hard you gotta know the game so that way you can have a good wide range of areas for you to test out the class and see if it actually is something that you enjoy and see how it looks potentially when you're near end game or mid game, like when your character's actually built out and you would actually be able to see how it plays, what it looks like, how it feels. Is this the class for me? Give me something in the game that allows me to test out a class before I make it. That way I can make an informed decision on whether or not this is a class for me. And also, the worst thing is, sometimes it's not even about making an informed decision about whether this class is not me, for me or not, but there is basically misinformation being spread about the classes now in the class tester because you're actually not even playing anything close to what the class actually plays like in the end game. So a lot of people might go in there thinking a class is a certain way, but it really isn't that way at all. And I remember that this was the case for me when I first started playing Lost Ark. I was like, mm, I really want to play Demonic Shadow Hunter, but I don't want to get stuck in this uh, exhaust mode for like 30 seconds. And then it really took just one of my viewers to tell me like, hey, yo, I play in Korea. That is not the case. This is actually how it plays. And I'm like, oh, why didn't the game tell me that to begin with? So really, I hope Smilegate can see this and really take this idea and implement it because I would really love to be able to have a system in the game that lets me test out a class before I actually make it and one that actually works and makes sense because there's so much misleading stuff in the current class tester and class creation process. But as always, that is just my opinion. So I wanna hear your guys' opinion. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this idea and whether or not you've thought about this before. Do you think this is an issue? This is not an issue? Let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications. And as always, I stream every single night on Twitch starting at 10 p.m. PST. So hopefully I'll see y'all on my stream. But if not, 
hopefully I see you guys on the next video. All right, guys, peace out.